Go. Go check out IGSky.com if you're looking for some cheap FIFA 16 coins. Use Rossi for an 8% discount. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here and I'm back today with another video. This one's going to be slightly different to what I've been doing recently. But I say that all the time now, don't I? This one is going to be on the potential 5-star skillers going into FIFA 17. I'm very much hyped about FIFA 17 at the moment since that trailer. Even though it wasn't really a trailer, it was kind of like it just a... Uh, a pick me up or something. Uh, ever since that's come out, I've been so hyped for FIFA 17. Because FIFA 16 for me hasn't been amazing. I don't find the game that interesting. It's okay, I, I can play it. But whereas I don't find myself playing it enough, apart from doing YouTube videos, if that makes sense. But for today's video, we're going to be looking at a couple of people which have been requested to me over on Twitter, my own personal knowledge, and just common sense. That could be. Going back to 5-star skills, a couple of them have been 5-star skillers in the past, I think just one actually, and a few of the other ones look like they could potentially be skillers in real life. I uh, asked your guys a lot of help over this on Twitter, so if you don't follow me, it's at MrRossi1990 over on Twitter. I will be doing a, maybe a second video to this if it does well enough and you guys like it. But to this one, we're going to start things off with a big dog, and the big dog is Ibrahimovic. Now... You'll see him on a Team of the Season card there, purely because I think that card looks so cool. It's a, it's a customised FIFA 17 card. If you want to go check the guys out who did it, their link will be in the description below to their Twitter. Absolutely fantastic. I really like the look of this Team of the Season card. I've just whacked Ibrahimovic on there. I've given him the Manchester United flag, or badge even, because it looks pretty much a done deal, really. It still hasn't been confirmed, but everyone thinks he's going to Man United, so I thought I might as well just chuck that in there, because technically that would be his FIFA 17 card. If it does come to the fray. Now, Ibrahimovic was five star skills. And then nobody knew why he got downgraded to four star skill mover. Very annoying because Ibra used to be one of them overpowered players because he was five star skills. He was huge. And huge skillers are just the way forward. And uh, he got downgraded to four star skills. A lot of people are upset, mad. Will he go back to five star skills? I'm not 100% sure. That guy is kind of your one on Twitter. And um, I, I think he may well do. If he goes to Manchester United and they get a five star skiller, the last person who went to Manchester United was a five star skiller, was Memphis Depay. And he turned out to become a four star skill mover. Does he deserve to go back to five star skills? Let me know in the comment section below. We may well do a follow up video to this. The next player is going to be Riyad Mahrez. Now, loads of people are requ requesting, if I can say that word, this one. And I totally agree. He has been absolutely fantastic this season. Player of the year. Absolutely unreal player in real life. Will he stay at Leicester is one key point. And also, will he get five-star skill moves? I hope so, because he'll be overpowered as hell Premier League card next season. If he stays at Leicester, if he goes to another Premier League club. And it'll be a lot of fun. Because this this FIFA, his card, apart from his team of the season card, his informs and his regular cards, haven't felt that fun for me. I haven't felt that very good. But his team of the season cards are a step above all of them this year. And he's absolutely fantastic. But will he get five-star skills next year? It's there to be seen. What do you guys make of that one in the comment section below? The next player is going to be Paul Pogba. The amount of people who want this guy to be five-star skills. I understand why, because he is a very skillful player in real life. But imagine him being five-star skills on FIFA. He would be one of the, oh, he would be the best centre midfielder in the game, absolutely, because he's got incredible stats as it is. This is my prediction of his rating as well, by the way. Don't look too much into it because I don't know too much about um, ratings as such, what they're going to base it on, because remember when physical got added in? Who knows? You'll get a new freaking someone else added in next year. You just don't know at this stage. But poor Popper, five star skills. Rest in peace if he is. He'll be absolutely amazing. Everyone will be playing him striker. And he'll be playing good up there because he's got the stats to cover it. But what do you guys make of that one in the comment section below? Will Paul Pogba... Will he stay at Juventus is another question as well. Because he's getting linked with quite a few clubs. But it's going to be a, take a lot of money to get him to move. And uh, we'll see how that one progresses. But the next player is going to be Eric Lamella. A few people have been requesting this. Purely because he is genuinely skillful in real life. Remember that Rabona goal he scored? Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right outside the box and he pinged it in. I think it was in a um, Europa League game or something like that. I think it was. I can't quite remember now. But he he probably does deserve five-star skill moves more than some of the people who have got five-star skill moves. As a five-star skiller for Leeds, Jordan Bataka. And um, he hasn't played much for Leeds this year. But when he does do skills, you can see that uh, the type of skills he does... And um, I think Lamella is that type of player as well. So whether or not Jordan Bataka will probably get downgraded, no, my luck. Um, but Eric Lamella, top lad. Having a great... Had, had, I should say, having a season's over. Had a great season for Spurs. And um, he could well get five-star skill moves. What do you guys make of that one in the comment section below? And there's one final player. And this is one of the ones come from me and about two people over on Twitter. The rest of them had about five or six or seven. But 
All right, when I watched this guy play the other day, I can't remember what game it was, but he absolutely dominated. He was so skillful, absolutely ridiculous player. I haven't seen enough of him to go out and say, yeah, he'll definitely get five-star skills next year. But what do you guys make of that one? I genuinely think he has a chance. He's a brilliant card on um, this FIFA. He's got a left wing and a right wing card, so I'm not 100% sure where exactly his default position would lie. But he's a very, very nice player for Atletico Madrid. Of course, they got some very nice players as well. He's Belgian. He's a good, fantastic talent. The new Eden Hazard, maybe. Or maybe he's the old Eden Hazard. I'm not sure how old he is. But looks like a sick car, potentially. Will he get five-star skills? A lot of people are saying over on um, social media that he may well actually be a five-star skiller next season. Next year, I should say. That is going to be the end of this video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be absolutely fantastic. Let me know in the comment section below if you know any people you think should be five-star skills. Smash like button, subscribe if you're new, I'll catch you next time, and do bye-bye. Boo!